As a kid, I used to love Shonen shows. And now I hate it because it's the same recycled shit and fillers. But no, I don't hate Shonen shows. It's just harder for me to enjoy. Also, I'm sure the new Shonen shows nowadays, like this generation won't even bother doing fillers. So I think that was a thing in the past. So I used to love Shonen shows or popular hyped animes. Then I changed to romance. Once I started on romance, I just went balls deep with it at the start of college. And I was watching romance animes that were popular, romance animes that were underrated. I watched a lot of romance. Usually when I want to watch a new anime, I like to see the ratings, if it's above a 7, and the art. And art meaning like, if I like the style and the vibe of it, and how the characters look like, and also if there's any hot babes. With that, I watched a good amount of shonen and other anime genres. But I think the romance anime genre won that competition out of all the shows I watched in my past. Now that I'm almost done school, I stopped watching romance anime actively for a reason. It makes me jealous. Screw that main character living his life through a harem, like where the hell is mine? I think this kinda impacted me. Like I would fall in love with girls in less than a millisecond. Like I wanna make our own romance anime. I wanna play her child support. It honestly made me a simp. This doesn't mean I'll stop watching romance anime that I already watched in the past. Shows like Rent a Girlfriend, Kaguya-sama, Miss Nagatoro. These are the animes I've watched in my past during my romance anime phase. And there's no way in hell I'm gonna just quit these shows. I need conclusions. Did they have sex? Did they kiss? Did they at least hold hands? I need it all. I need, I need it for it to end. But when I'm trying to watch new romance animes, like today I tried to find new ones and I could not find it. They all looked boring as hell. To conclusion, like who isn't waiting for some intercourse? Be careful.